When people hear the word moss, they imagine tiny green carpets on rocks and tree trunks. But club mosses are not mosses at all. They belong to a completely different evolutionary branch, one that once built the greatest forests Earth had ever seen. Around 360 million years ago, during the Carboniferous period, this lineage dominated the planet. Giant trees like Lepidodendron and Sigillaria, relatives of modern club mosses, rose more than 30 meters tall and covered vast swampy continents. When those forests died and were buried, they became the coal that still powers much of human civilization today. And here is the astonishing part. That lineage never went extinct. The small plants we now call club mosses as Lycopodium, Selaginella, and Isoetes are living survivors of that ancient forest empire. They look simple today, but they are true vascular plants. They have internal water-conducting tubes, real roots, and microleaves, meaning they belong to the same evolutionary step that first allowed plants to grow tall and dominate land, mosses remain glued to wet surfaces because they have no internal plumbing. Club mosses solved that problem hundreds of millions of years ago. Their ancestors were among the first plants that could lift their bodies above the ground, capture more sunlight, and reshape Earth's atmosphere by pulling carbon out of the air at planetary scale, that carbon now sits beneath our feet as coal. So when you look at a modern club moss creeping quietly through a forest floor, you are not seeing a primitive leftover. You are seeing the last living branch of Earth's first great tree forests, a lineage that once ruled the land long before flowering plants, before dinosaurs, and before mammals ever existed. Lepidodendron did not disappear, it became small and it survived.